Christopher, thank you. Commitment 2024 coverage continues throughout our evening newscast. Ahead at 5, Sarah Sowers takes us to Guilford County, where she checked out a polling location with so-called curbside voting. We'll explain how that works. It has been almost three weeks since Helene devastated Western North Carolina, and each day we've learned more about how the triad has come together to offer relief. WXI 12 Sarah Sowers spoke to one firefighter who joined urban search and rescue teams in the Asheville area. Two crews of first responders from the Greensboro Fire Department have returned from Buncombe County, where one says the devastation was heartbreaking. I've been a firefighter with Greensboro for about 14 years. Um, the destruction up there was indescribable. Um, just the amount of destruction for miles and miles. Uh, rivers that looked like they'd been there for thousands of years, and it was where roadways used to be. Uh, the rivers just rerouted themselves due to the landslides, uh, damming up bridges and stuff like that. Morphy's was on the second rotation of Task Force 6, a group comprised of eight men from Greensboro, combined with some from Fayetteville, that spent 11 days on urban search and rescue operations. He volunteered for this mission and knew it was a possibility, but never thought a storm could be so bad. Swannanoa, Cane Creek, and Fairview were some of the communities his team responded to by foot when roads were washed away. I know Buncombe County is nowhere close to back to normal, but I think the immediate uh, need for rescue and stuff like that is, is pretty much over. Every day, he says, they followed up with lists of people considered missing or trapped to ensure that they were alive. What kept him going? The success stories they were creating every day. He says at times it was emotional, but there is one thing he'll always remember. But I think the thing that I came back with was uh, just seeing the way that the community members pulled together. One crew of urban search and rescue responders is still out in Buncombe County, and they're expected to return in the next several days. Reporting in Guilford County, Sarah Sowers, WXII 12 News.